Yeah, but us, Commander. Okay, so this is just a quick demo of a new uh, Halo training area uh, that's uh, available directly from the tra uh, Task Force Athena main base. Uh, there's a spawn point you can uh, go to here from there. Um, so all of these helicopters that are out here are considered to be training helos. Uh, the three little birds here, uh, you can jump into these as a pilot and you can trigger your own failures so that you can basically practice uh, your tail rotor going out, your moon rotor going out, uh, just by using these mouse controls here. Uh, so you can basically, as you're flying around, you can kill the engine, kill the main rotor, kill the tail rotor, and then you can repair it all as well, uh, hopefully before you crash. Uh, the, all the other helicopters, apart from the three uh, um, little birds, uh, for training, so uh, the pilot does not have access to those uh, controls. So if I jump into, for instance, this one here as a pilot, the only controls I've got are the standard ones that come with the helicopter. Whereas if I jump in as the co-pilot or the instructor, then I have access to a bunch of controls that I can use to uh, trigger faults for the person who's flying the aircraft, so the uh, training. Um, so we've got engine failure, main rotor failure, uh, fuel tank failure, and tail and rotor failure. And then you've also got the repair and refuel option. Um, so if I take controls and start the engine now, So, for instance, uh, this is, I think, 3CB, so it doesn't have the uh, top left-hand menu with all the fuel and in information and everything. But if I have a look at my fuel gauge over there, fuel quantity, at the moment it's at, uh, well, pretty much full. If I go to fuel tank failure and click on that, then you can see my fuel starts to drop down and that will go all the way down to 10%. So it's losing 90% of fuel and it will stop at 10%. So when you're in the air, you've got 10% uh, of fuel remaining to land. Okay, and that will keep going down until it gets to 10%. Uh, I can then, obviously, if I hit repair and refuel, that will immediately go back to full fuel tank. Actually, I think I've got it set to 90%, so we'll go up to 90% fuel. Uh, similarly, um, if I hit tail rotor failure, let me go into external view, it will immediately fail the rear rotor. Uh, so you then uh, need to land without a rear rotor. And again, hit and repair will fix that again immediately. And then I can do the same thing with uh, engine failure. So now my engine is spooling down and I can repair, refuel that, but then I would need to uh, restart engine again and do the same thing with the main rotor. I fail the main rotor and then repair, refuel and turn the engine back on. The reason I've got a main rotor failure and engine failure is uh, some of the helos like the Lynx and the Wildcat have got multi-engines. So if you hit engine failure, it won't work. It will only fail one of the engines, not both or not all three. Um, so if you hit uh, main rotor failure, then you're going to get the same effect anyway. And the bailout option is if you're flying. and you trigger one of those failures and you think you're about to crash and you don't want to, or your pilot is about to crash and you don't want him to, then you can basically um, just go to bail out before you hit the ground and it will basically put a uh, helo into a steady hover and just drop you down. Nice and gentle.
it. So I hope that, that's helpful. If you're uh, spotting any, um, if you're in the server and you spot any faults with that or any errors, then uh, let me know and I'll uh, adjust it. But for now, it seems to be working well enough to uh, launch it on the main server and uh, let everybody have a play with it. Thanks, guys. Uh, enjoy. Have fun. See you soon. Stop recording.